Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back for our week four English work. Um, today, today people, today, we're going to be looking at organizing our um, ad campaign. Last lesson, we looked at some of the differences, some of the positives and negatives between drinking tap water and drinking bottled water. Today, we're going to take that to another level. So, our learning intentions for the day. I can research my persuasive arguments, plan my points, and I can creatively persuade people. And how are we going to do this? We're going to look at how to research. We're going to try organizing our points. And then we're going to start creating an ad campaign. I'm going to do my best to make this as simple as I can. This video isn't going to be extremely long. If you get a little bit stuck, please stop the video, go back and have another look over it. So we're going to look at the first stages of how we get our points. So I need this keyboard. Okay, so we're looking at the difference between bottled water and tap water. I always find the easiest way is to type it into Google. Type what we're looking for into Google. What? I'm even going to go down and type it into here, just for you guys. Bottled water. Tap water. Then we can even look at what's coming up. Difference, comparison, versus... It comes down to whatever you want. Scholarly articles are going to give us like some really high tech, you know, breakdowns of these things. We don't need it that top, that high level. We've got versus here, versus water debate. So we can pick any of these. I'm tossing up between these two difference in comparison. I'm going to do a little bit of a ha. We we'll click on that one. <laughs> All right. Now, while we're here, we're going to pick one of these websites. We're going to look at which one of these look like they're reliable, which ones look like. Their websites have proper information. Um, diff N, difference between bottled water and tap water. I don't really know. Learn, allergy and air, healthy home. Learn sort of leads me to believe that it's not just some random website. Choice.com.au, Water Logic Australia. Boom. I think this would be the best one to get our points. So we're going to click over here. We're going to go through the web, the website here. Here we have some different bits of information. Now I'm sorry, I'm going to put my phone on silent. I'm not usually very popular, but there we go. <laughs> here we're going to look at some, some of the different bits of information that the website offers us. And what we can do is we can even take all of the bits of information here. So what this is, is a graph showing us, there we go, the difference in the cost between tap water and bottled water. So it's really important that we take some notes. So I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to write cost. And what was the cost difference? $2.50 for bottled water. And tap water was one cent. So when we're writing one cent is zero dollars point zero one. Because if we put the zero, if we put the one here, that makes it ten cents. So it's zero one. Now we have to make sure that we write per liter. Another way that we can write that is write slash L. It annoys me that it always gives me spelling suggestions or word suggestions for tap water. So there we've got our first big point, the cost, the big difference in the cost. And as we go through, it gives us more statistics. Amount of oil barrels used for plastic. That's 400,000 oil barrels. oil barrels used for plastic 400 comma bang 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 for bottled water and we've got zero for tap water boom as we continue to go through percentage of water that comes from a tap supply globally so it's an endless supply of water pretty much for us that's almost free. 
Here we've got all of the things that happens. Carbon's filtration, UV purification, a firewall. I didn't know there was a firewall. Okay. So we're just, I'm just going to pick one of these to show you how we can set up our ideas. And we're going to take carbon filtration and I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to paste that there so I don't have to rewrite it. But I am going to, where is my format array? I didn't want to do that. Okay, I wanted to, I was going to format paint, but yeah, you're right, I can format a race. Now, if, I'm just going to move all of this to the next page, so it's all bundled together. If you get stuck for some points, I am going to remind you, we did look at some in a previous lesson. So if you want to go back and have a look at some of those points, go for it. I would absolutely love to see your research skills. So if you're really struggling to research, um, pause the video here look at some of these ideas or go back and look at some of the ideas that we wrote down from our last lesson. So we're going to stick over here. I am going to copy these. So first, we, we've already looked at how to research. Now we're looking at organizing our points. Over here, you can see that I've taken notes because I don't know about you guys. My memory is terrible. If I didn't eat the same thing every day, I'd forget what I had for breakfast yesterday. <laughs> One thing that I always forget is where I put my keys. So if I just tried to remember everything that was going on, all of my, if I just tried to remember all of my points, I would have no chance. I'd forget everything as I was going through. So my advice to you guys is to write your points down and write them in a way that you're going to remember. If you need a little bit more information for your points, write them down. So oil barrels used for plastic, $400,000 for um, 400,000 bottles, oil barrels. I'm going to start that again. Oil barrels used for plastic. It takes 400,000 oil barrels to, um, to, to make the bo um, bottles for bottled water, but it takes zero oil barrels for plastic. If you want to write that down in another way that makes it stick into your mind, you might choose to write it down the way I have, just to be a little bit quick with it. Or you could write 400,000 oil barrels to make the bottles for bottled water. Full stop. This is harmful to the environment. Zero. Did it click there? No, I don't think it did. Oh, yep. Yes, it did. Zero oil barrels for tap water, which is much better for the environment. Why is it better to have less plastic, less oil barrels, less bottles overall? Because it means less pollution. So, we're going to take these points. I'm going to hit copy. Because we're going to use transfer these to another page. Because now we're moving on to our last point. So, bang. Organizing my points. Yes, we've done it. Now we're going to look at how we can creatively persuade people. We're going to be practicing creating an ad campaign. This sounds like it's a lot of work. I promise you it's not. I promise you it's not very hard. It's actually pretty easy. I've come across to this screen because I find it's much easier for me to show you this way than to like, I don't know any other way to show you. So we're going to make a picture with words, <laughs> kind of like a little poster, kind of an infograph. We're going to use this to show the difference between bottled water and tap water. The first thing I'm going to do is, is it going to work? I'm going to paste my notes over here. I'm going to try. No, it's not going to let me move it. All right, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to paste it a bit closer. Please let me move it. No, it's not going to let me move it. Oh, well, we're going to have to keep shifting the screen. So we've got our notes here and we've got our creative board here. If you're wondering what you could make this on, you could use paint. You could even make it on paper. Draw all of your images, write all of your persuasive points around it, 
and then take a photo of that and upload that to the Google Classroom. I like using this just because I'm a nerd. What do you want? <laughs> so first things first, what is our big point? What are we looking at? Is bottle water better than tap water? So we need a big heading, something to catch people's attention. For me, really, you can use whatever you want here. I'm going to give you an idea of what I could use. So I'm going to write something like, I'm going to lay that down a little bit. Is bottled water better than tap water? I'm going to write tap water for the win. And I'm going to write win in capital letters. You guys can be a little bit more creative than I am. You could use different colors. Tap water. For the win. Try and make it stand out a little bit. Now we're going to take our points over here and bring them over here. We're not just going to write them in because that's not really creative. We're going to find different ways that we can present them. So first, cost $2.50 per liter for bottled water. So the $5 bill is a bit of a pinky color. Is he going to let me write it? Okay. My screen went away. I'm not always the luckiest teacher. I don't know how to finish that. I'm just not the luckiest teacher. <laughs> All right. So, boom. You could have, you could draw that in if you'd like. You could even take it to the next level. Australian, five, oh, that's a percent sign, five dollar, we're going to go to images, now we've got some pictures here, you can copy and paste them, if you're finding it a bit difficult to get the image off, what you can do is open up your search bar, type in snipping tool, and you get this little thing that comes up. If you press new, it gives you, can you see it? Where's my cursor? Okay, you can't see it on that screen for some reason. It gives you a little cross, ah, everything. You might be able to see it. My whole computer is like blocks the screen because it's getting ready to snip it. It gives you a little cross here. If you can't see it, I don't know if you can see it or not yet, but we'll get there. You select what it is that you want to um, take. And it gives it to you in a little separate thing. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to come back to this. Whoop, not that. I'm going to hit paste. Now I'm trying to resize it. Is it going to let me resize it? Boom. There we go. So what did we say? It was $2.50 for um, per liter for bottled water and one, one, and one cent for tap water. Per liter. Bottled water. $2.50. Tap water, one cent. And then we can even think of something creative to make that stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to change to black and I'm going to write, pay the price. You might have such amazing catchphrases, whereas mine are a little bit eh. So I want you guys to show me how creative you could be. Then we're going to come to our oil barrels. If you're not sure what oil barrels look like, 
What do we do? Boom, that's right. Thank you in the back. Type it into Google. Oil barrels. So they look like this. We're going to hit images to get a, a you know, vast array of them. And we can even just delete barrels and see what comes up for oil. So it's showing us how they get oil. I'm even going to take it to the next level and press oil. Pollution. Boom. So you can see that it's not very pretty. That it's something that can... It's something that can put our environment in a little bit of danger. So I'm going to do my best to draw one of these oil barrels. As you all know, I cannot draw for the life of me. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a lip and then it goes down and then it out and down and out and down. And I'm making it worse, but I'm trying. So, <laughs> yeah, I tell you every time I'm terrible at drawing, but this just lets you know that yours is going to be, whoops, yours is going to be so much better than mine. What do we want this to be? Oil. And I'm going to write in this rainbowy color just because I can. 400,000 to make plastic for bottles. You can even take this to the next level and draw some bottles. You could find a picture of, um, I think it's called Trash Island, where it's just a gigantic island of plastic floating through the ocean. You can take this and make it your own. When we look at some of the other things that we've looked at, when it comes to persuading people in advertisements, we've got colors. Okay, I didn't know that I could do that. Awesome. We've got colors. I'm gonna come back to black, because we're back in black. So we're gonna look at our colors, our catchphrases. Our statistics. These are bits of information, calculations, people that have measured things and have come back and told us. We're looking at our arguments. Our images. I want you guys to find the best way for you to plan out. Yes, I, I had a bit of a heart attack. I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> we're looking for the best way for you guys to plan out your whole um, advertisement. This is going to be your opportunity to set out your ideas the best way that you can. If you're worried about your drawings being absolutely terrible, join the club. I don't want to see the best. I want to see your best effort. Your best effort might not be like a Michelangelo, Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. I just want to see your best, the best that you can do. You guys have seen the best that I can do and it's not the best, but I want you to work on this over the course of our English lessons for this week. That's three lessons alongside your work on study ladder. If you need any help, hit up me or your classroom teachers. Anything we can do, we're still here. We're still around to help you guys out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.